in their homes and in the society, yearly enrollment of orphans and needy into the nursery, primary, secondary, and high school, as well as providing basic commodities as some achievement we would like to highlight. First Ladies has amazing and selfless partners who have committed themselves in seeing that this vision moves further to the glory of God. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of us. Amen. When we look at where we started, through where we are now, and even where the Lord is taking us to, we can only say God is mighty and indeed he is with us. So much, so much has happened within these eight years. Changes have occurred in so many areas of our lives. The number of zones in Cameroon have increased. God is doing amazing things for us and we stand in awe of him. All of us have experienced changes in, what, changes in one way or the other. Most especially, we have received praise reports from many husbands attesting to the transformation of their wives since they joined the First Lady International Network. Hallelujah! <laughs> These changes have also come with challenges, yet we know such challenges only come to make us better. To God be the glory as we celebrate eight years and look forward to many more amazing things that God, will, that our Lord of hosts, we use the First Ladies to do. Amen. <laughs> At the end of it, we always have our mother will always say, please make sure you remain rapturable in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So I'll call on the first of the kids and the first of the Trinidad. They have a sketch for us. And then some few ladies have their testimonies. Please, we'll make it very short. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, it's just something very short. The first ladies is all about. Hallelujah. I going to do in this marriage? I have lots of problems. My husband complaining every day. I don't even know what to do. He says I don't know how to serve his food. He says I don't know how to cook. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Someone should help me. Oh my God, even on bed, my husband says I'm not good. Oh God, what am I going to do? I need someone to help me. Yes, lady. Mama, Mama, what's happen? Why you? So don't you tie this one for weight? What's happen? I know easy. That marriage, this one, I don't know how I will do. I really need somebody to tell me what I will do for this marriage. Mama said, oh, oh. you are worrying me. Oh. <laughs> I will do. I can't do that. No good. God don't hear your cry. God don't hear your cry. I won't bring you good news. Yes. I won't bring you good news. So. You never hear of first ladies. My God. And our eighth anniversary this. For first ladies, eh? God don't give we one mommy. And they call her mama mata. No, no, no. She will train you. Even how to what they this called still eh? cutleries. How to arrange for table. How to save your husband. Oh, mama said, go glad play. Wait, I never finish. And they come and overhead, you see your husband you complain for. Our mama is specialist. Your husband will testify. Oh my God. You don't need just come join. Eh? And your problem is. Now your husband will come here today. Today, now, today. Today, today. Come and go in after this conversation. Go learn first. Me, your husband can give testimony. And I said, enjoy where you don't put up my heart now, so you are glad. Yes, I know. I know. So, make a be that marriage. Now, the commission that way, God give mommy matter. Thank you, plenty. God will bless mommy matter for me. Amen. Amen. So, can we go? First ladies, first ladies, hey, 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 first ladies. I don't do all things. I don't do all things. Same man, get the money. The same man goes. 
school, I don't go to school. They say me career with my main money. I don't make money come. They still work at Don Don. Forty years, every day my go call grandchildren, grandchildren. What they are do? I beg go over to my hell and me. I beg. Me so my hell and me. I don't tire the life. I don't tire the life, true true. I don't want money. What I go do with the money? Sister, what happened? I beg, leave me so, leave me so. No, we can't be so. We can't be so. We can't be so. Yes. So what's happened with this boy when we get to marry you? Mommy, as I tell you so, I don't carry and go for family. She has a final in in this. You know, still is Mrs. Sandra. I don't know what they are for Sandra. Now they, now they feel one this way they come. I don't know what they are I don't blame the boy, you. I don't blame the boy. No, I mean, I don't find my sister. No, you're fine, but you don't get sense. You don't blame. I, mean, I, I won't tell you. I don't go to school, though. Because I get my mommy when I'm specialist. I will invite you for first ladies. Okay. They will teach you how to read red lights when man picking the can. You go read this so You know go go wash iron man in clothes when never marry you. No more do marital duties when you never get a boyfriend. Why you go invest when they never pay money for your life? So we go go join first ladies, you go learn and everything will be okay. okay. So follow me and go. Thank you, Thank you so very much. For the opportunity. Thank you, mommy. We really appreciate you. Uh, I'm happy to be part of the first ladies. <clears throat> uh, back then in 2017. By then, I was still trying to understand some things in marriage, and I was still like trying to learn because I was still confused what I should do and what I should not do. So there was one day I remember I visited a mother in the Lord, and here in Dubai I visited her. She told me uh, she saw that the things, the common, the common things that I was confused about. She told me go to Facebook. There's a page called Face Ladies. Just go and like the page and follow the teachings on that page. So the same day when I went home, I followed the page and I started following the teachings. And I was so confident because she's my spiritual mother and I believe that if she sends me somewhere, it means that place is profitable for me. So since then, I've been getting teachings from there and I have a lot of uh, improvement in how I do things in my spiritual life. Also, how I behave in marriage. Because before, I was that type that I would argue with my husband from now to tomorrow. But... <laughs> But today I'm happy because I cannot, uh, he's my witness, he's here. I cannot remember when last I quarreled or argued with my husband. So I've felt, I've, been, I've become a better version of myself. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to, I, I, I just want to, the testimony is not with because of time. It will be very short. Just the testimony of things when our mother visited us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When she came, my marriage was at the level of scattering, divorce level. Many may not know, but it's not something you expose because you need to pray about it. When I met her, she cuddled me. She said, my daughter, I don't feel pain for you, but I feel joy. The Lord is saying that you should go and pray. That let the light of God shine in your marriage. She didn't pray for me. And I, I was like, she said, go with joy and go and pray that let the light of God shine in your marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. First ladies, we don't pray for you. We teach you. You learn how to pray as a wife because you are a woman at the gates. Hallelujah. Amen. Your family is in your hand. Amen. Amen. I went back. I told God, if you meant that I was not supposed to marry and I'll get and I will serve you, let me walk like that. God said no. God put me back to his word. Taught me how to forgive without my husband asking for apology. Mm. Taught me how to handle things. Even when my most of us we are married to husbands that are more spiritual, like our daddy, like the ministers here. Yeah, you get married to men that you are the one to pull them up. So if you are not on your knees as a woman, that is what makes me I'm still standing in my marriage. So I just want to, I'm giving this testimony to encourage the women that are here. That you as a woman, even as a single, stand at that like that woman at the gate. Because your husband might be down, he will not tell you 
maybe because we men they have their ego because they stand and they cover when you as a woman you stand where your husband is weak if you are not strong your home will crumble don't blame your husband they will blame you because the man will build the house but the woman decorates the house hallelujah Thank you.
Local, local. When you just see everybody already knows you. wives and mothers we build our homes we command principalities and raise godly children i'm a proverbs 31 kind of woman i'm a proverbs 31 kind of woman hey, 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 hey. first ladies first ladies hey, 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 hey. first ladies superwoman no oh. first ladies first ladies Eh, hey, 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 first ladies, superwoman, no, oh, I'm brave like Ruth. I am fierce like Deborah, daring like a 